Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Pre-Accident Investigation Podcast Safety Moment. My name's Todd Conklin, and today let's talk about the power of learning from success. We've all spent a lot of time as leaders and managers in our organizations going out and looking for deficiencies, deficiencies in systems, deficiencies in plans and programs, deficiencies in adherence to procedures, deficiencies in behaviors. In fact, we spend a lot of time looking for what's bad. But I'm going to suggest today that the power we have is not in going out and finding things that need to be fixed. The power we have is going out and finding things that are, in fact, providing the level of protection, the level of capacity that we need in order to be successful. We ought it to find deficiencies, but in in fact, I'm going to suggest we probably ought to start auditing to find success as well. Now, the power in identifying success is in realizing not that it builds strong relationships or better engagement with the workers. Those things are all true, of course. The power in finding success is going out and actually verifying that the safeguards and barriers we believe exist in our systems are actually there and actually working. Now, to do this, I think you've got to, as a leader, be present and provide an opportunity to gather feedback when work is successfully accomplished. Have safety discussions, not after a failure, but after a success. Ask them what systems we have, what barriers and defenses we have in this system that was effective, what, what worked. Where can we improve? Where can we add barriers and defenses? Where can we build that capacity? In having that conversation, we're setting the calculus up for safety intervention that's much different based upon deficiency than it would be based upon effectiveness. And that difference, I think, is really key. Now, the important thing to remember is that workers live in a highly variable system. And because that system has much variability, the worker then has to create a sense of stability in the work. And that's what I want to talk to you about today. When you go into the workforce, look for things that are being done right. Not necessarily behaviors, although behaviors are part of that. Look for systems and processes, protections and defenses that are in the field being done correctly and focus on how you see these things being used effectively to create that sense of safety on the construction site that you work with or on the plant floor or in the laboratory or wherever you do the work you do. The power in identifying defenses that are working creates an opportunity to change the conversation with the people you work with. And that, my friends, is what safety is all about. It's a turn of a phrase. It's an old technique with a new target. It's something that you are completely capable of doing. And I can say that to you because you do it. And you've done it before. And you'll do it again. This time, let's use our force to identify what's working and not what's missing. That's your safety moment for today. As always, learn something every day, have some fun, and for goodness sakes, be safe. <laughs>